Bermuda Triangle is a game that's often glossed over as an extra in the SNK 40th Anniversary Collection. It didn't make the first cut, but the engineers at Digital Eclipse strive to bolster the value of the bundle by adding in several more SNK games through free updates. One of the greatest feelings in my field is stumbling upon a great game nobody's heard of. I had to check Bermuda Triangle out when I heard it was a time-traveling adventure tied to the Triangle Mystery. That sounds awesome! You'd insert a coin and... Emergency. Emergency. Land on deck, bitch. Emergency. Emergency. Six, one. Power up. After playing it, I'm shocked it slipped into obscurity. How do you forget a game as obnoxious as a fireworks show right out of your backyard? Why old-timey 1930s music? <laughs> what in the actual hell am I flying? You could go on and on asking thousands of questions, but eventually, you'll get over the shock of this game's ridiculousness. Discovering it's a fun time-traveling power fantasy once you start playing. Bermuda Triangle doesn't play like any other shoot-'em-up released before it. You're commanding an enormous battlecruiser instead of a fragile fighter, and given more complex controls than usual to match. Taking advantage of rotary joysticks, you shoot your giant turret in eight directions to keep the chaos as minimal as possible. With some assistance from expendable wingmen that assume up to four formations as needed. Seriously, if one blows up, there are 20 others in every level to take their place. So, rather than relying on traditional dodging all the time, you will be putting these saps into harm's way to preserve as much of your armor as possible, usually creating a good balance between reflexes and tactical decision-making in conjunction with the enemy patterns. As solid as your defensive capabilities are, your offensive arsenal really makes this game shine. Fill up that tank and start morphing into bigger and bolder forms, getting a coat of armor, growing spikes jutting out of your deck, climaxing in special form with the weirdest, most alien-looking crap yet. The... Each upgrade grants a significant boost in power, too. Power form makes your life a lot easier with piercing bullets that let you hit more than one enemy per shot. And it keeps escalating from there. Upgraded bombs cause the entire screen to shake like you're causing an earthquake with every explosion. The game does an amazing job at making you feel like a total badass. I dare say Bermuda Triangle has the most satisfying power-ups of 1987, which is more than enough to make up for the level design, or lack thereof. I don't have a whole lot to say about the structure of these levels, since they follow run-of-the-mill, whack-a-mole game design. Moles pop out, start spewing bullets at you, and you gotta whack them before they whack you. However, I will compliment the artists because it took me a long time to notice the repeating enemy patterns. The large variety of scenery and new sprites for the enemies is enough to stop the stages from becoming slogs. Even when enemies are actually copied, SNK at least bothered to recolor them so they aren't exactly the same. The short 24 minute playtime also helps in preventing the game from overstaying its welcome, leading up to stages that are serviceable by today's standards, and pretty good by 1987 standards. They're not without a fair share of cheapness though. Perhaps out of fear of the game being too easy at maximum power, there's lots of booby traps littered around the game you can't react to or do anything about unless you knew about them ahead of time. Duh! Everyone's psychic enough to know those mines were gonna move. Fortunately, 
You're given plenty of leeway to power yourself back up if you bite the dust. You're given several seconds of invincibility to crash into problematic enemies and collect power-ups, which will usually put you back up to power form at the start of every life. It's shockingly merciful compared to Konami and Irem's shooters, doing wonders to keep frustration low. That only leaves us with the visuals and presentation, which help keep this game afloat despite being below average. The artists that drew the effects were not the best at their jobs. Is that supposed to be lightning? It looks more like someone broke the screen. I didn't talk much about the time travel aspect of the game, because it's mostly an excuse to tie a bunch of varied level themes together. But that's A-OK. -okay. Fun should come first. You'll fight off brigades of confused Nazis, pass over the Great Wall of China, and delve deep into the thick of alien civilizations in the Arctic. All while listening to... Strenuous and serious battles, my ass fault! Is this an intentional joke? Or is this the most unintentionally inappropriate battle music ever composed? Can you imagine this music being used in more intense moments? <laughs> I gotta hand out a grade before I die laughing. It's flawed, but intentionally or not, Bermuda Triangle excels at being entertaining with flying colors. Whether you feel empowered by mowing everything down with ease, or in a fit of laughter from its ridiculous presentation, you can't go wrong giving Bermuda a try. Bermuda Triangle gets a B. Unfortunately, that's not the game we got in the United States. Someone at SNK thought Bermuda Triangle would be way too weird for us to comprehend. So they shat out World Wars using Bermuda Triangle's assets, and renamed it to Bermuda Triangle since we didn't get the good version. This is what happens when you got everything unconventional and interesting about Bermuda Triangle, leaving you with a bog standard shooter with subpar graphics. The only feature that sets this apart from any other shooter is that you get to shoot in eight directions. Whoop de doo! Otherwise, World Wars leaves me nothing to work with, which is worse than a game trying, but failing to do something cool. Not to mention, it's a lot more unfair than Bermuda Triangle is. If you die once, you might as well kiss your entire game goodbye, because you're sent back to checkpoints that conveniently don't have any power-ups most of the time. Even if you could put up with that, these hitboxes suck! I'm not even sure if the enemies know where they're supposed to be. Shoutouts to the boat floating on concrete. Give me a break. I'm ejecting this imposter. World Wars fails with a D-. It's a game. The controls work, I guess. But the Japanese version is more than just a game. It's fun. Please play the real Bermuda Triangle instead released in Japan and Europe. And with my duty done, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you ring the bell and subscribe for more reviews once a month.